All right, guys. Welcome to the weekly update in the War Table blog. Um, for people who don't know, my name is Hyruler, and I run the YouTube channel slash podcast called Assemble. Um, and today we are going to be covering the latest weekly blog post that came out today. So, if you didn't know, the past two, the past few weekly blog posts have just kind of been an update on like what to expect, what's changed, um, some tips and some tricks. And uh, they put these out every week. So every week I'll be covering these and uh, giving you guys, you know, kind of that insight into what's going on. So with that being said, let's kind of dive deep into this and kind of see what's going on for this week in Marvel's Avengers. So priority missions, priority missions and modifiers that will challenge even the toughest superhero. Your first weekly completion of these missions earn you unique gear you won't find anywhere else. So first one is the inhuman condition. Minimum power level 25 is a plus 3 power level offset. Modifiers Blizzard. Ice hazards are added to the environment. Cryo damage from enemies in the environment are increased. Scourge. A significantly increased presence of prime synthoids. Uh oh. <laughs> Fireball. Plasma damage from players is increased. Ooh. All right. Get those plasma builds going, guys. There you go. There you go. Guaranteed reward for this is epic gear. Okay. Well, I mean. Minimum power level 25, epic gear. I mean, yeah, we, we can't really, yeah, it's fine. That's totally fine. So the next one is our town. So this is for those higher level players um, as a minimum power level of 120 with a plus five power level offset. So the modifiers for this is famine. Enemies do not drop regen packs when defeated. Goliath, significantly increased presence of exos. Bane, which is significantly increased presence of adaptoids and supercharged all her heroic abilities charge faster and inflict more damage oh my goodness so for someone who runs the infinite brooklyn brawler captain america build oh my god this is like i'm, I'm gonna be walking into this mission and just strutting my stuff dude because this this is gonna be a this can be a cakewalk for me you know obviously like you know the power level and then you know i can up it to you know whatever challenge four would be because i'm i'm my captain america is maxed but this right here just kind of increases the fun of it you know brooklyn brawler never goes down um you know my support and my my assault abilities never go down oh my god i gotta play this tonight this sounds like so much fun sounds like so much fun the guaranteed reward for this is polychron and hero specific gear very cool very cool that, this is gonna be a fun one our town so yeah so those are the priority missions this week guys uh, make sure you get out there and go do it um, go get that gear, especially, you know, the Polychron and the hero specific gear. I know they're giving us a bunch of, you know, a bunch of rewards because of the faction, faction missions and villain sectors are, um, you know, kind of, we're kind of bugged, but, uh, never hurts to go do a mission and, you know, get those rewards as well. So make sure you go do it. So let's talk about the priority harm challenges. So priority harm cha room challenges have additional modifiers and reward comics that increase your collection and boost your stats. Weekly first completion reward, 2011's Captain America number 19. This gives a 0.5 heroic charge rate. So 0.5%. Sorry, I should have corrected myself there earlier. Um, instead of saying 0.5, it's 0.5%. Big difference, big difference. So a minimum power level 15 challenge. The modifiers for this are collider. Particle damage from players is increased. And then torpedo. Projectile damage from any sources is greatly increased. Okay cool 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 um pretty standard pretty easy everyone should have no problem doing that um if you guys do have problems doing that make sure you leave if you guys leave a comment down below and you say hey man like i need some help i'm more than happy to help anyone who uh kind of needs it especially with you know kind of the the other one um our town minimum power level 120 or even you know this one upcoming which is minimum power level challenge uh which is level 100 as a plus five power level offset uh, the modifiers for this are a maelstrom. All heroics charge at a significantly increased rate. Entering critical health drains all heroic energy. Collider. Particle damage from players is increased. Pressure. No automatic recovery of willpower when critically injured. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. like I mean, This is pretty standard stuff, too. Obviously, this is going to be a little tougher. Um, but like I said, if any of you guys need help and you're watching this video and you go, man, I really can't do this. Like I need someone to come help me. Leave a comment down below, uh, leave your PSN, um, and I'll jump in and kind of help you. I, I don't have anything leveled on PC, unfortunately, right now. 
Um, I've just been strictly playing my PS4 version, um, kind of, you know, in preparation for the PS5 in November. Um, but if you guys are playing on PlayStation and you need some help, you know, kind of just let me know. I'll jump in. We'll get it done for you. No problem. So, yeah. So that's that. So here we got some pro tips. So pro tips, famine. Focusing on takedowns and careful usage of the regenerative nanite containers are key to survivability when famine is active. Okay. Fireball. Equip any gear that provides additional plasma damage or increases the rate at which the plasma status meter builds to really heat things up when fireball is active. Okay. Collider. Equip any gear that provides additional particle damage or increases the rate at which the particle status meter builds to really heat things up when collider is active. Torpedo. It's best to select heroes with strong range attacks or to equip gear high into precision attribute to best take advantage of torpedo. Don't forget, enemy range attacks also do more damage, so be sure to dodge and evade incoming projectiles. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I think it would make sense, you know, torpedo, obviously. <laughs> pressure. Recovering willpower by any means necessary is key when pressure is active. Utilize takedowns, regenerative nanite containers, and skills that boost the chance of enemies dropping regen packs to ensure that sustaining critical energy, energy, energies, injuries isn't always a recipe for a quick defeat. Let me tell you guys, if I could speak English sometimes, ooh, I'd be a danger, let me tell you. Goodness. Maelstrom. Keeping willpower high and utilizing heroics soon after they're ready is key to maximizing the benefits of Maelstrom modifier. Focusing on gear that boosts the resolve or valor stats are also effective strategies. So yeah, these are all good, man. Um, these are all great kind of tips for anyone who's having issues. Um, I would always say, you know, adjust your build when you can. You know, adjust some some, you know, skills when you can. Um, but always what I find too, is that the more people you play with, the easier these, these things are. Right. Um, so, I mean, matchmaking works now. So try and use matchmaking. If not, uh, like I said, you can let me know and I can jump in. Um, but always try and find people to play with if you, if you really can, because, you know, I find it just, it just helps immensely in doing a lot of this stuff personally, at least. So, yeah. So let's look at the marketplace. So new items in the marketplace this week include Miss Marvel's legendary whoops emo, which is this one, Iron Man's epic catch some rays takedown, and Hulk's super slick legendary Palm Springs outfit right here. Then we have a new cap one right here, and we have a new Black Widow recolor, and then we have a uh, Thor recolor. It's not recolor, I think, right? I don't think I've seen this one. So my opinion of the the marketplace right now, guys, is that they don't have a lot of stuff in the marketplace. A lot of this stuff is being kind of recycled through very, very often. Um, and the one thing I will say about that is like the people who are, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're not recycling or if they're recycling stuff because of people, um, being very wary of the marketplace before launch and then after launch. So I don't know if they're just like, okay, let's just kind of focus on like, you know, recycling the same four costumes, the same, this, the same, that. Uh, versus like updating and giving us new stuff right every week is something new something better something crazy you know uh, and kind of getting people upset i don't know or if they just don't have anything i it's possible that they just don't have um things ready to go right like mcu costumes or more comic costumes uh, i would have thought coming up to launch and i think what we're like three weeks now you know kind of about three weeks um and I've not really seen anything other than the PlayStation exclusive ones. So the Gladiator Hulk, the Assyrian Royal Thor outfit, um, the, the Captain America one. Uh, I haven't really seen anything that kind of jumps out to me and says, like, I need to buy this, you know. Um, so, you know, and for some people, that's good. For some people like me, you know, maybe that's a little bad because I would love to spend money and support, you know, kind of the developers in a, in a way. Um but they haven't really given me anything to, to say, like, other than those PlayStation exclusive ones. I haven't really seen anything that says, like, go get them. Go buy them. This, 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 this. This is the week to do it, you know? So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of we'll kind of see how it goes week by week, man. But uh, this is this is okay. I mean, you have another recolor here. This looks like, what, Captain America and, like, the Middle East, I guess? Like, I, like, uh, uh, like, I don't know, man. Like... This is like this is like something you see out of like a U.S. soldier that's like stationed in the Middle East. I guess I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it's a Captain America outfit. Um, 
I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's move on. Patch notes. So obviously, if you're if you're watching this video, our first video of the day was the patch notes video. You can find that in the YouTube channel. Um, basically, lots of good patch notes here. Um, sorry, lots of good patch notes. The patch was really good. The notes kind of cover a lot of the good stuff that's uh, kind of taking place. Um, all in all, I would say this patch is uh, really good, and uh, there's a lot to be excited for. So, so let's go to, in case you missed it, check out article announcements you may have missed. World-class athletes Allison Felix, Nathan G. Adrian, Simone Biles, and Yager Eden celebrate Marvel's Avengers. Link is there. Laura Bailey, Sandra Saad, and Jolene Anderson join a new hashtag Women of Marvel podcast to share how they brought their characters to life. And the link is there. Gen general tips from Marvel's Avengers. Bring the party to aim and become Earth's mightiest heroes with these useful tips and tricks. And then the link is there. Okay, cool. Community Spotlight. Check out our Community Spotlight this week featuring some fantastic digital photography from fans. So this is really cool. This is a really cool Iron Man one. I'm not going to lie. This is really cool. So by Bob Duck and Weave, Black Widow by Outer Rim's Photo, um, digital photography by Riffian Gaming. This is Cap. It has some edits to it, but uh, I mean, I guess they all would have some edits to it, right? But this one is really cool, right? He's a little more grayscale. And then uh, is this the US? This isn't US agent, right? But obviously the shield and the effects and then the boots kind of keep the pink reddish. This might be US agent actually, but um, still really good, really, really good. And then obviously the, um, the hallway and one of the, the aim facilities there. So till next week, we'll see you online and in game. So this was the weekly, the weekly blog post guys. Um, you know, same old, same old every kind of week. We'll just kind of cover, you know, the priority missions and the modifiers and everything such as that. Um, you know, maybe one, one day, one week, you know, They'll kind of drop some juicy information there. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty standard stuff, guys. So with that being said, guys, this is it for the videos today. Today, we covered the 1.3.1 patch notes in another video. And then in this video, we've covered the weekly blog post. My name, once again, for everyone who doesn't know, is High Ruler. I run the channel Assemble that you guys are currently watching. If you guys are interested in kind of following my journey and covering this game, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I stream pretty much daily, you know, depending on the day over at twitch.tv slash high ruler. Uh, if you guys want to come join me over there, I do stream Avengers. I'm also playing through Ghost of Tsushima right now, which is really cool. Um, yeah, and that's it, man. That's it, guys. So there's that. And if you guys do want to follow the podcast or myself, it's either twitter.com slash assemble cast or twitter.com slash high ruler TV. So. That's it, guys. I will see you guys on the weekend for a full episode of Assemble. You can find that once again on the YouTube. Um, or if you're interested, that is also on Spotify and iTunes. But that's all I got for today. I will see you guys later on. Enjoy. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you out there crushing some aimbots. All right. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.